Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Stupendous Wave, and in this video, we will be doing a breakdown slash review of the Star Wars Episode 7 International Trailer Number 1. Now, I was going to do my death predictions for Star Wars today, but since we got a new trailer, I will move that to tomorrow, so that video will be coming out tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get into this new trailer. Like I said, it is an international trailer. So the first new thing that we get to see is the first thing that we see, and it's from Rey at a distance, and it looks like she might be cleaning something off or working on something, but behind her, that actually looks like to be some of the remains of a Star Destroyer from the Battle of Jakku, which is really interesting. And then we get a few new, or, or excuse me, older shots that we got in the uh, previous trailer and I do have a breakdown on that trailer as well if you'd like to check it out it's on my channel and then the next new shot we get is we actually get a really quick glimpse of a moisture farm now originally part of me was thinking that this might be on Tatooine and it still might be on Tatooine but if we look in the background uh, and of course we can see what cloaked figures which might be Jawas but if we look in the background, it looks like the speeder that is going past, it looks more like uh, Ray's speeder than any of the uh, land speeders on Tatooine. But it still might be on Tatooine because as we see on Jakku, it's, more, uh, it's got more mounds, it's got more sand hills on it. And Tatooine, as we saw in the first movie and uh, throughout Star Wars, it's got more of a flat landscape. So... It could go either way. I'm actually leaning a bit towards more of this being Tatooine. So really this might be our first glimpse of Tatooine or it might still be Jakku. It's really up in the air at this point. But there are moisture farms. There is a moisture farm there. So that's really cool to see again. Then we also get some new dialogue with Rey asking BB-8, where do you come from? And that she knows all about waiting and she's waiting for her family. And this is a very, very BB-8 centric trailer, which is pretty interesting. Um, it's always awesome to get more affiliated with the new droid. But we hear here that Rey is waiting for her family. And this is really interesting because really one of the biggest mysteries surrounding Star Wars uh, Episode 7 is why is Rey on this family? Who is her, or excuse me, planet, which is Jakku, and who is her family? So why is she here? Why did her family put her here? Is she waiting for her family to rescue her? Now, there are theories that her family is, uh, that she's the daughter of Han and Leia, but there's also theories that she may be the daughter of Luke. So either one is possible, and at this point, even likely. So we really don't know why she's there, but we do know that she's waiting to come be picked up, and she really does look quite sad on Jakku, but we do know that she will eventually get off and go do greater things. So that gives us a little bit of hope for her. The next thing we get to see is BB-8 actually runs out of what looks to be a little tent-like thing on Jakku in that little Jakku civilization area, and Finn and Rey run out following the little droid as well. So we know that Finn is with Rey at this point, and uh, he's most likely just crashed in his TIE fighter and found his way to the uh, little civilization that they're living on. And then next is one of my favorite shots of this whole trailer, and that is just a legion or a few TIE fighters actually. Uh, I, I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 TIE fighters headed towards this little civilization on Jakku and uh, destroying it. Now what's interesting about this is I don't think that the scene where BB-8 runs out and uh, sees the TIE fighters is a link to it. It may be, this might be the sunrise on Jakku because we do know that there are two really interesting battles that take place on Jakku. One is where Kylo Ren is involved and he attacks this civilization area, wrecks it, and the other one is when Rey and Finn are trying to escape because we can obviously tell that they're at different times. They take place at different times because when Rey and Finn are trying to escape and they somehow get in the Millennium Falcon or someone in the Millennium Falcon comes and assists them, it's in the daytime. But when Kylo Ren comes down with Captain Phasma and the Flame Troopers, which is the actual next shot, we get to see some Flame Troopers destroying uh, part of this level civilization on Jakku and then the shot of Captain Phasma. But that's at night time, so they take place at two different points of time. And I think it's very, very interesting. And the theory is that they are looking for BB-8 and that they don't find BB-8, obviously. 
and then they hear uh, and then Finn escapes and he meets Ray again and then the first order comes back again with Captain Phasma but Kylo Ren goes off to do something else so that's just the theory um, and we obviously know they take place at different times so that's really interesting I'm interested to see which battle actually comes first I assume the nighttime one with Kylo Ren will come first and then the first order will attack again uh, in the daytime and this is when Ray and Finn will end up escaping but who knows we never really will know for sure until we get confirmation from actually seeing the movie we then get to see Kylo Ren again although it's no new footage there is new audio here and he says I will fulfill our destiny of course referring to Darth Vader and this leads to the theories that Kylo Ren is trying to become like Darth Vader and become as Darth Vader like as possible and that he's his idol and that he almost comes to the point of worshipping Vader so it's really interesting new audio he says our destiny which leads may lead into a fan theory that a lot of people in the First Order and possibly even Kylo Ren himself believe that he is Darth Vader reincarnated or Darth Vader come back to finish what he's done. But who knows at this point, definitely Kylo Ren is a fanboy of Darth Vader, that is for sure, and it's just great to hear some new audio from the character. So immediately following that, we actually get our best look that we've gotten so far from a trailer of the cross guarded lightsaber activating and it's really really cool it's really unstable and it looks terrifying and we get to see another really cool shot of it later on in this trailer but it does look like Kylo Ren activates it here and he's ready to go to war against someone or something and it just looks great the lightsaber looks great like I said it's unstable it's of a crude design but I think that definitely adds to it Next, we actually get to hear Rey essentially ask for Finn's name. She says, I don't know your name. And Finn says, Finn, obviously. And then Rey says, I'm Rey. So they're meeting each other. Our two protagonists are meeting each other here. Uh, well, not really meeting each other, but they're getting more affiliated with each other, getting to know each other a little bit better. And, of course, they're on the Millennium Falcon at, Falcon at this point, uh, which is really cool. Then a few shots later, mixed in with some older shots, we actually get to see the Knights of Ren and Kylo Ren, but with here, with this shot, we get to see it from a little bit farther away, and it's a little bit more clear, so I'll just add that one in there as well. I think that's really, really cool. Again, there's a lot of older footage in here, but there's new ones, uh, new shots as well, along with new audio. Uh, then we actually get to see Queen Leia here with C-3PO with his red arm, on the rebel base which may or may not be or resistance base is what I should say which may or may not be on Yavin 4 we see Poe Dameron in the background with Princess Leia or Queen Leia and that kind of leads into him being her right hand man which is a lot of theories that have come up and again C-3PO with the red arm which is really cool confirming here that C-3PO is with Princess Leia and it's good to see him there and a lot of the original cast next to the new cast, uh, which is Poe Dameron. The next new little bit of footage we get to see is BB-8 watching some explosions from a distance. I do think that BB-8 is watching the uh, First Order Kylo Ren attacking the civilization on Jakku. And that's what she's witnessing, or excuse me, it. I keep on wanting to call BB-8 an it, or a she, excuse me. But that's pretty interesting. Then we actually get to see one of my favorite parts of the trailer. It's when an X-Wing, it looks like they're on the circular base because we can see the planet below is uh, filled with frost and snow. And it looks great because it looks like they actually took, they obviously didn't do this, but it looked like they actually hooked a GoPro up to the side of an X-Wing and then had the X-Wing fly down onto the Starkiller base or near the Starkiller base and it just looks great. The X-Wings so far have stolen this promotional material along with the trailers and the toys. The X-Wings are just the bomb. We also real quick get to see Rey run up on her uh, little home area there, the area where she's staying which is an AT-AT walker supposedly. She's actually staying inside of one and that's kind of where she's made her home. But she real quick goes and grabs that staff, which I think could have some great significance to it. I think that she may be hiding something in that staff that could lead to a lot of problems for her and also benefit her a lot. And my personal theory is that Rey has had a little bit of lightsaber combat training 
and that she may be hiding a lightsaber in there. But who knows, that's just a theory. It's really awesome to see her grab that staff, though. She definitely looks like she's running from something or sees something. Possibly a TIE fighter crashing. That might be a little theory. We get to see a little bit of Chewbacca in this trailer, or more of Chewbacca in this trailer. And he does his signature roar, and then he flicks a switch, and it destroys a First Order ship. And we actually get to hear a Wilhelm scream in there, which is really cool. And it's awesome to see Chewbacca, and he's a fierce warrior as always. And flipping that switch and destroying that First Order ship is awesome. Next, we get to see what is for everyone, I assume, the highlight of this trailer. And this is Kylo Ren pointing his lightsaber, or holding his lightsaber, directly to Rey's face. And you can see the heat coming off of the lightsaber. And it's definitely very scary. And this is where the planet where the Resistance base is, supposedly. Which may or may not be Yavin, like I said. But nonetheless, it's very, very cool. The lightsaber is amazing. And because it's an, an unstable design, you can see the heat coming off of it. It's got the fiery look. It's not as crisp and clean as the other lightsabers. And like I've said many times before, that definitely adds to the effect. And it looks like he's not going to kill her here, but he's definitely showing her who's the boss. So that is actually it as far as the footage goes for the new trailer. But there is a little bit of audio left by what I assume to be Maz Kanata telling Rey that hope is not lost today. It is found. I think that this will probably be towards the end of the movie and him telling or her telling Rey that even though someone might have died that it's ready to the resistance is ready to start going and they're ready to start up and fight against tyranny and the dark side on a larger scale now and it's really just the beginning of the battle so yeah that's kind of how I think the ending will be I think it's probably going to end on a little bit of a sad note overall the movie with possibly Han Solo's death or another character's death but then similar to how the Empire kind of attacked first and struck back in uh, the original trilogy I think we might end up seeing the uh, resistance strike back in episode 8 against uh, whatever the events may happen because the first order definitely looks like they're taking it to the resistance and to really a lot of innocent planets in this movie which is really cool so yeah overall great trailer as always the music was the highlight for me absolutely love it so leave your thoughts in the comments down below leave all your theories in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for death predictions tomorrow and have a great day